Hello everybody, this is Oxeus and welcome to episode 5 of Material Energy Hypercube. The mod pack is made by Parcel31U and can be found on the Feed the Beast launcher if you want to play along. Now, where did we leave off in the last episode? I told you that I was going to go and light up the biosphere, which I did. And it took me a very, 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 very long time <laughs> because I wanted to do it without dying, which I did. Um, but the downside to that was it literally took me hours because um, I'm a bit of a wimp, as we know. Um, but before I go and show you what I did in there, you know we have this down here. Well, I decided I was going to dig it all out. And you see there's a moo cow trophy and here is also a chicken trophy. Thanks for the egg. So I'm just going to pick that up. Be careful not to... Uh, what do you give me? Anything? Oh, there it is. You gave me leather. Thank you, cow. Let's just swap that out there. Um, yeah, and so I found loads of these loads. And first of all, I was just running around, highlighting them, trying to work out which ones were them. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to definitely miss some. So I mined out the whole lot. And let me show you what I found. Ten. Ten basic reward bags. So I'm not just before we start opening those... This is all stuff for quests that I have been gathering while I have been away. As you can see, I've emptied out the majority of the contents here and put it all in here, which is where this is going to go. Um, right, so... Shall we open these ten basic reward bags? One, iron throne knife, saltpeter block, more copper armour, Sisto's battle sign, Master Rod with protection 5 on, T Love Tex Love, Quarter of a Heart, Fertilizer, Flint, two more reward bags, battle sign again, and mystery arrows. Lovely. Let's put all of that in there away for the time being. Uh, I don't think we need that or that. Put that there. We might need some more torches. Put those back where they should be. That's there. That's fine. And we'll put our trophies in there. We will go back at the end of the episode to put them away. Right. Ah oh, yes, my battle axe. I will explain that to you in one moment. So, here we are. Let's come down. I decided that the best way to get down there to see what was going on. Was to mine. Oh, is that broken? I hadn't got around to fixing it, no. Yeah. Was to come down these stairs here. Which is exactly what I did. You see there's mobs because they all like they're all spawning on these islands. Because this is the second layer, um, where all the mobs were, and this is where a little secret was. So the only place, hopefully, if I've done a good enough job in that middle layer, the only place that mobs can now spawn is on these little islands. So what I did was I found this chest on this particular one here, which is where I got the battle axe from. I got some quartz ore, I got some other quartz bits, and then I decided to come along here and make my way to the middle, which I did, and I found this. Ta-da! Coral well. So I've got that, and then there wasn't really much else going on in here, and I haven't emptied all of these, and there might be other things there, but I don't think you really want me to see them digging them up on camera, so I will leave that, and I will do that in between episodes again. 
So then I decided to pick my little head up here and found this. Now it didn't look quite like this when I started. What actually happened when I came up this ladder was there were loads of mobs in here and they were attacking me and I was stood at the top of that ladder just hitting them with my lovely battle axe here. And then I found this stone chest which had some more chains and a bag in. And then, and then, <laughs> I looked outside and there were mobs everywhere. Might still be some hanging around, who knows. But literally everywhere. I could not get out here and this is what took me a very, very, very long time. To try and light this place up was ridiculous. And as you can see here, there's a little bit of cryothium left from where I was using it to help me slay the mobs. And slay them I did. Very, very slowly. <laughs> it was an absolute nightmare. There were just so many mobs and there were witches and... Oh, hello? There were witches and... Oh, it was just horrendous. It really was. So, yeah. As I said, it, it took me quite a long time. But I did it. I got there in the end. I haven't taken all of this down. I haven't found any secrets by taking any of these down. Um, I don't know if there are any. But, again, I'm not going to do that on camera just because I don't want to bore you with those details. So, I don't know, do you want to see me fight some mobs? I can go down there and see if there's any more chests up down there. Just going to light this up because I think this might have some red X's. Possibly. Let's try turning on F7. Yeah, there we are. We don't need any more mob spawning after the nightmare that I had. Right, how should we... I know. Let's go back up. And I am re-blocking this off. Just in case mobs do spawn because... Yeah, I don't want to go through all of that again. I don't believe there's anything... No, it's just an empty way down. Okay. So what are we? What shall we do? Shall we path our way to each of these? Now we do need a bit more cryothium um, to finish off that quest. Let's just let him die before I start making my way over there. Yay! Up. And if I fall in this stuff, I will die just like the mobs are dying. Because it is quite tricky to actually get out of. I also charged up the magnet um, by using those uh, tuberous, tuberous thingies, the, basically the charged potatoes. I just used those to put some charge into the magnet. Oh. Oops. So I could use it. Here we are. Okay. So let's see if there's any more hidden chests or anything up here. This of course will come in handy for applied energistics and for fixing my warhammer if it ever gets to the point where it needs a bit of repair on it. Aha! There is another one. Brilliant. Not a wasted trip then. Makes you wonder what's on the others, doesn't it? Ooh! Longsword. Bow. Nice. Now I've noticed that the crossbows take forever to pull back 
and I think, you know, that's probably something to do with, um, you know, your skill level, etc, etc. You've got to keep doing it to get better at it, blah, blah, blah. And when you're fighting mobs, you don't really want to be waiting a long time. <laughs> you really don't. So, unless I'm going to stand there and skill it in my own time, then, yeah, it's probably not going to get skilled up anytime soon. Right. I still... I don't want to get too close. Because they will shoot me off and then I'll die and that won't be fun for me come on jump down there you go die 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 this stuff is great for killing mobs what that was then. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've got enough to get there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh. Well, if I keep doing that, then no, I definitely won't. Oh, that did not sound good. Nope. Run away. Run away. Ooh. Sneaky. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. Bugger it, they've come back. They really have. Um, um, <laughs> no. I don't have enough blocks. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want, yeah, right, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's put that wool somewhere safe because we don't want to lose it. Let's grab some more blocks and we will come back in a moment. What you also want to do today is have a look at the um, spatial area called sand. So that I want to see, is it just sand? Is there anything in there? Are there mobs? So I do want to take a quick look at that, but I will check to see if there's any um, more hidden chests with you guys. Right, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Oh yeah, I was saying, I had a problem, um, where's the bow? I was trying to use this bow and it crashed my game. So, um, let's just see if it's done that. Yes, it has. Wow, it's opened up some more stuff. Cool. Miner's Delight. Oh, wow. Okay, I will have that. Thank you. Um, you know what? Should we just finish up these quests while... I'm here. Right. So we did this one. That was digging all of those quartz. We get reward bag and reputation. Agrarian farmer. We had to get 125 carrots and 125 potatoes. And while I was... Oh, I'm full. While I was um, cleaning out the biosphere, I was harvesting at the same time. So, yeah. You know what, I'm going to start over again, maybe. Um, Brilliant pumpkin seeds. So yeah, I, I did that, a bit of manual farming. Um, I made a wooden shield, which gets me a stone longsword, which we don't really care about. Um, I collected this one here, the dark green. 
um, from inside the biosphere. I believe that this green one was probably in the green room in the inclusion chamber, so I'm probably going to need to go back and do that at some point, but I will check it off camera again, or find her interesting. Um, I can get rid of that and that. Put those coral walls in there for now. We've got a good reward bag. And we get an iron shield. Hurrah! Let's, um... Not that <laughs> I've been using any of this stuff at all. There we go. Um, I don't know what to do with that. Okay. This stuff. Climate control. We need 20,000. 20! So, let's take you to there and select task. Boop. And then we want to get a node. One of those. And a pipe. Yep. And we want to say pipe there. Hmm. Well, I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> okay, okay. Get up there. Stop it. some buckets here. If I put that on top of that, yes. Sixty four per cent. need one thousand more. We need one more bucket's worth. That's fine. We'll go back down there. Um, let's put that in there. We need one more bucket. Okay. Oh, I wanted more blocks, didn't I? Let's see. We'll use some more of those. That's probably not going to be enough. Let's take some of those. Okay. to stop the animals from following me down because I notice that the piggy likes to follow. Yep. Right. See, when I did this earlier there was hardly any mobs down here because obviously they were all still up at the top. But not now. Ah, creepers are good. Creepers, and yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I can handle you lot. Oh. Oh. Why have you got jawache over there? I didn't even look at you. Why are you upset? I didn't look at you. Oh. There is a skelly. I didn't look at you. I have not looked at you once. I know I I'm wasting blocks. I'll come back for these, I promise. I just I need to be wary of the skeleton. Right. Reach, reach. Uh, 
I don't know where he is. Shh. I will totally die. goodness for that. <laughs> right, any chests under here? Anything? Oh! Flint pickaxe with luck on. Brilliant. <laughs> Beep. Right. <clears throat> and here we go again. showing creepers at the moment. And there. Yeah, fall off. Fall off and die. Not me, obviously. Just them. Not showing any mobs. I don't trust it. Hello? Anybody here? Hold on. Don't say that we've come all this way hoping for more chests and there wasn't any more. That would be quite upsetting. You know, I wasn't like I was a wimp or anything to slowly path my way over here. <coughs> ah. you know what? I'm going to start using this one. Oh, so slow, so slow. Right. <sighs> Just a double check. Just. And there's nothing hidden. I mean, you know, they could be. Oh, there we are. Right. Put one there for good luck. Okay. There wasn't anything else. I will come back and dig those out again. All off camera. I'm not going to waste your time with it. So, time to head back. And have a little looky, maybe, at sand. If you've seen ME3, you're going to have a fair idea of what's going to be within Miner's Delight. <laughs> so, um, you know what? There's a chest in there. I never saw that. Sorry, guys we're going back in I you know I just thought it was oh, it was weird that there were no chests in there it was really weird and now I know why it was weird there were chests right which one it was out one of these wasn't it Was it this one or the other one? Who knows? No chest there.
There it is. Obsidian, matter, crossbow limb, crossbow limb, battle sign. Right. We're getting towards the end of this episode, guys. So let's go get our trophies if we can find our way back up. Here we are. And put our wool and trophies uh, this way. Onto our monument. And I don't really want to overrun too much, but I did promise you we'd take a quick look at sand. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah. let's put that one in there and finish that off quickly. Claim reward. Loads of stuff. Stop. Good reward bag. Severed as its sword. Cool. Plus 10 attack damage. Nice. Um, have we got any food? No. Um, do, 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 do. Trophies. What did we have? Uh, chicken. And cow and coral wool. Right. Quick, 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 quick. Monument there. Cow. Chicken. Thank you. We'll put our wool up here. Coral wool. Bang. There we are. So, quick trip. You can go away. You can go in there. Sand. Well, it's not showing any mobs. Okay, guys. I think we shall call it there. I am going to dig out that sand and see what I can find in between these episodes. And I will show you the fruits of my labor at the beginning of episode six. So this has been Soxaeus playing Material Energy Hypercubed on episode five. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. It is free. It does not cost you anything. And also I appreciate any comments you want to leave, good or bad. That is fine by me. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.